Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and let's solve this question. The first question says, find the root of the equation 10s square minus 13s minus 3. This is simply a quadratic equation. Now, to find the root of quadratic equation is another word of saying solve the quadratic equation. And after solving quadratic equation, we eventually arrive at two answers and these answers are the roots of the equation there are many ways you can solve a quadratic equation you can use the uh, graphical method is there you can use factorization method and you can use formula method so in this mood i choose to use formula method if i'm using formula method this is the formula for solving quadratic equation s is equals minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a and for quadratic equation this is the standard form a s square plus b s plus c is equals zero now given this equation 10 s square minus 13 s minus 3 is equals zero if you compare, you agree with me that A is equals 10, B or plus B is equals minus 13. And you also agree with me that plus C is equals minus 3. So therefore, A is equals 10, B is equals minus 13, and C is equals minus 3. We've gotten what we want. So let's substitute these values into this quadratic equation. This will give us s is equals minus b minus b is minus 13. So minus 13. Look at what I did here. The formula here already has minus and b also has its own minus. So this is minus b plus or minus b square. That's minus 13 square minus 4 times a, a is 10, times c, which is minus 3, all over 2 times 10, that's 2a. s is equals, minus times minus is plus 13, plus or minus, minus 13 square is 169, then minus 4 times 10 is minus 40, minus 40 times minus 3 is plus 120. So this is plus 120 all over 2 times 10 is 20 so 169 plus 120 is 9 it's 289 so everything here is 289 s is equals 13 plus or minus 289 over 20 the square root of uh, 289 is 17 so we have 17 over 20. We will now come here and say s is equals 13 plus 17 over 20. Or s is equals 13 minus 17 over 20. So that's what plus or minus means. 30 over 20. Or s is equals minus 4 over 20 this will give you s is equals 3 over 2 or s is equals minus 1 over 5 so that's the answer the roots are s equals 3 over 2 or s equals minus 1 over 5 and the option is d the second question says the sum of roots of the quadratic equation is 5 over 2 and the product of roots is 4. What is the quadratic equation? Uh, this is a very simple and pretty question. This is how we attempt this. Quadratic equation is simply, let's say s, is simply uh, s square minus sum of roots times s plus product of roots equals zero 
now that we know that this is the formula for quadratic equation yeah s square remains minus sum of roots they've given us that the sum of roots is uh, 5 over 2 so instead of sum of roots we simply come here and say 5 over 2 s times s plus product of roots product of fruit here is 4 so we simply come here and say plus 4 is equals 0 now we've gotten our quadratic equation we can simplify this by multiplying throughout by 2 2 times s square is 2s square minus 2 times 5 over 2 2 times 5 is 10 10 divided by 2 is 5 so 5s plus 2 times 4 is 8 is equals 0 this is the quadratic equation so let's look at the option that will be option option b so that's how you do that then for the last question is simply telling us to factorize this expression we can rewrite this expression to have minus s square plus 6s minus 5 to factorize this expression we simply look for two numbers that we will multiply we get 5 and when we add we get 6 so is there a number like that when you multiply you get 5 two numbers when you add you get 6 let's take a look at 5 and 1 5 times 1 is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 so that will work so we simply come here and say minus s square plus 5s plus 1s minus 5 so where this is the same thing as 6 we've not changed anything now we come around and say you may be wondering is it not supposed to be the numbers that one multiply will get minus 5 no this one's already carrying minus so we have to multiply what is here by that constant it's simply a times c so let me say uh, let's say be minus s minus s squared divided by minus s here will be s s divided by minus s will give you minus one plus here we have five in common 5s divided by 5 will give you s minus minus 5 divided by minus 5 will give you minus 1. So we'll be left with minus s plus 5 and s minus 1. So these are the roots of the equation. So let's see. Uh, recall or remember that minus s plus 5 is the same as s 5 minus s over s minus 1 so they are the same in that case our answer should be option b so that's the correct option thank you for watching my video i am flash isaac feel free to subscribe to this channel flash learners to get my updates on new videos and don't forget to check out my other videos visit flashlearners.com slash videos or search flash learners on youtube to see my amazing videos for all your topics I really appreciate your time. Thank you. <laughs>